Welcome to SNN. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, 2012. It is also a hawk day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. Have you ever seen or read the classic Journey to the Center of the Earth? Or maybe you've read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Perhaps you've heard of Around the World in 80 Days. All these books have one thing in common. Author Jules Verne. Jules Verne was born on this day in 1828. This French author is the second most translated author in the world, the first being mystery writer Agatha Christie. And he's often referred to as the father of science fiction. He's also one of the first who thought about a submersible craft. A submarine? Yes. Verne wrote about space, air, and underwater travel before air and practical submarines were invented, and before practical means of space travel had ever been considered. In his lifetime, he wrote over 56 books. And because he died at 79, that's a great feat for the time period as well. Happy birthday to the father of science fiction, who turns 186 today. His books are considered classic science fiction. Speaking of classics, the Skyridge Spring Musical, Oklahoma. According to the IMDB, Oklahoma is, to sum it up, about two sets of love triangles set in the early 1900s in the West. There's plenty of guy fights. The plot is rather like Twilight, don't you think? Yeah, not so much. It sounds like Aubrey wrote this bit. Auditions are on February 21st and 22nd. That's a Tuesday and Wednesday. From 3 to 5 p.m. in the choir room. If you're auditioning for a singing or acting role, you need a two-minute song from a Broadway show that is not Oklahoma. Questions about it? Talk with Miss Manso. The sign-up sheets are in the student center. There will be a ballet audition both ways. So if you can stand on your toes. Or you can sing. Or you want to work backstage. Sign up in the student center now. Our musical Oklahoma needs you. Here's Mr. Smith. All right, thank you, Ethan. <laughs> Oklahoma. <laughs> Yeah! I apologize. That's not my best singing. Anyway. Uh, say a couple of things. First of all, I have an exciting announcement to make, and that, okay, and that announcement is that uh, Sky Ridge has received an award. In fact, yeah. that award is the Washington State Achievement Award, which is the third year in a row that Sky Ridge has been recognized. So just a little bit about the award. Basically, um, the state takes a look at how we're doing in math, reading, science, and writing, and how we're improving over time. It also takes a look at similar schools to Sky Ridge and measures us up against all of those different factors and how much we've improved from the previous year. So considering that we already have impressive results and we got the reward again really is a testament to your teachers and all of you students for how hard you're working. Now, clearly, we have many, many smart people around here. But yeah. as I've said before, what's important to me, uh, you know, I don't, I don't care how many brains you got in your noggin. What I want to see is that you're using them and that you're working hard and you're applying yourself in class and taking responsibility for your learning. So whether it's in language arts and you're getting ready for eighth grade debates or whether you're in a math uh. flex class or whatever that looks like, keep working hard because it is truly making a difference. So good job, everybody. Very Woo! proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's give away some Smensel, shall we? Let's see. Yeah. I've got Gage Clarkson, Brandon Junt, Sophia Murrow, Connor Dole. What is this? Miss Loreen, and it says, did this work? Well, apparently it did, Miss Loreen. <laughs> so, all right. You may have Wait, one. I didn't either. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, Kyle Steinmetz. And I already did Sophia and Connor. Okay, good job, everybody. Have a great day. Woo! Thanks, Mr. Smith. Yearbook. Oh, yes. There is still a little time to order your yearbook. Only $25 in the main office. Not sure if you ordered one? Can't remember. Check the time to check sign on the doors to the cafeteria. 
SNN Club meeting today in the LMC. And Knowledge Bowl meetings are Monday through Thursday, 3.15 to 4.15. Meet in Mr. Condon's room at the end of the school. Also, tomorrow there is a very por important Science Olympiad meeting after school in the downstairs computer lab. Science Olympiad is Thursday in the lab. Mr. Hunting needs all Olympiads to report on time. Be ready to work on your events. Your skills will be put to the test this Saturday at Jason Lee Middle School. Get this on your calendar. February 21st is the first informational meeting about the trip to Poland. This meeting will be held at Liberty Middle School at 7 p.m. Interested students and families are encouraged to attend to hear more about this opportunity. This year, 10 through 12 students, along with the district and parents' chaperones, will travel to the southern por part of Poland. The dates for this year's exchange are June 21st through July 1st. Information about travel costs and other travel details will be discussed on the meeting February 21st. More information in the main office. Today's thought from Jules Verne's book, Journey to the Center of the Earth. As long as the heart beats, as long as the body and soul keep together, I cannot admit that any creature endowed with a will has a need to despair of life. A bit dramatic for a Wednesday. Don't despair. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Remember the sky code. Be safe. Be respectful and be responsible. This is Ben Ethan. And a sister Abby. <laughs> At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. Aye.